So those are the red flags and warning signs. Also, one thing I cannot uh, forget to mention is when we're talking about online and um, the internet and predators online, it is so important to know that predators, so people that are trying to basically gain others to trust them and to begin to utilize them as their own property, um, they are really sneaky. They are going to maybe pose as someone younger. They're going to show interest and try to share likes um, with us or your child. They are going to ask questions and really develop a trusted relationship with this person. That's often what ends up happening. There was a story of a young girl who um, disappeared, a teen that disappeared from a um, sporting event in Texas and she was there with her dad and she actually went to the bathroom and then she disappeared and they found that she had been a victim of human trafficking. So, you know, as a parent, you think, oh my gosh, this is so awful. Like she was kidnapped. No, you want to know what happened? She actually, they were able to trace it and this person had been in contact with her and she had developed a relationship with them online as a complete stranger. Um, they were reaching out to her and they had groomed her. They had gotten her to the point where she trusted them so much that she convinced her dad to take her to the sporting event. And then uh, she, on her own initiative, met up with this person and left with them. So I hope this is just eye-opening. I hope this information, um, you know, our goal is not to scare you. It is not so that we can live in fear. Our goal is that you can just understand a little bit more about what's going on and the fact that this is a reality in our cities, in the 50 states um, here in the U.S., and something that is just important for us to know so that we can look out for those that we love and those in our own communities and stay safe.